If you're out for a walk with your dog or even in a lake with your kids, it's the last thing you want to see. People are just looking for it more now. Elizabeth Kennedy says blue-green algae can show up in a lot of different forms, which makes it a little bit tricky to clearly identify in the environment. To raise awareness, the province of Nova Scotia recently created this website to allow residents to familiarize themselves with all its different forms. It can look like grass clippings, it can look like pea soup on the surface of the water, it can look like paint that's been spilled and is kind of churning in the water. The hardest form is when it's a mat on the on the bottom of the lake or river because really it just looks like slimy rocks and uh, it could look like any slimy rocks but it might be blue-green algae. Ideal weather conditions for it to form occur when it's been warm and there's a big rainfall which can bring nutrients into the water or churn up the blue-green algae that's been stuck on the bottom. If you think you've spotted some you can report it to your local Department of Environment and Climate Change office and it can be added to a list that can be found online. Resources to monitor it have been growing in recent years due to dog deaths. Pets are special in that they will eat things that smell and look disgusting to humans and so they're more vulnerable because they might actually go in and eat actual algae. Humans can be affected if they're ingesting lots of water with the toxins in it and can even get rashes and headaches by coming into contact with it in the water. Kennedy says with climate change projecting more intense heat as well as more storms, the risk of blue-green algae formation is only going up.